I want to look at a couple of different setups for rope access. We'll start with the standard Y hang, and I've got this set up with two different ropes running off two different anchors. I've used a re-threaded bunny ears for each of these setups. Now, that's great for a lot of setups that we do, but if we're using the modern language of rig for rescue, uh, it doesn't really give us too many options other than working with raising on these ropes to get back our, work, our workmate. Now, another option that people are starting to think about using this language of rig for lower is getting some of the gadgets that maybe we don't use to work on ropes anymore, like pencil stops, some people are using them, uh, but setting up those pencil stops in the anchor. So that then the idea is that if our teammate is stuck down the bottom on these ropes, or close to the ground, all I need to do is walk up, unlock these two devices, and then lower the, my teammate to the ground. The problem with this situation is, if we've got our devices set on separate anchors, there's, it's reasonably foreseeable that someone is going to grab both devices like this because they can't work out how to operate a device and keep their brake hand on the rope at the same time. So there are certainly ways to set up IDs at the anchors if we want to rig for lower and have them positioned so that if we do have to lower the person, we've got our redirect up high, we can get ready to lower on these two devices. And it is feasible, it's quite conceivable that you can operate it with one hand on two ropes and the other hand operating the two levers and lower the person in that sort of situation. However, I have to say, if, if we're really rigging for lower and we want to be minimal with our use of equipment, I think the Italian hitch is an option that we need to explore a whole lot more. So now we're faced with the situation where our, our workmate is stuck over the edge of the cliff or over the edge of the building and we want to lower him to the ground. Assuming he's got both ropes locked up, if he's got a, a, a self-tailing backup device such as an ASAP, then maybe we only need to lower him on his working line. However, if we need to lower on both ropes, at the moment the Italian hitches, they're not auto-locking devices. However, I could donate my ASAP to that system as one of my first moves. Then I can proceed to unlock the two Italian hitches. And I've got them locked off with super munter tie-offs here. And as I do that, I'm going to be careful that I maintain control of the brake strand in each of these knots in each of these hitches, I should say. So I can pull that through, and now I've got this brake strand in position ready to lower. I'll hold that. I'm still holding the load comfortably. I'll come across and I'll unlock my second one. That's going to be my brake strand. And now with those two brake strands, I can control both of those in both hands. And if needs be, I can even walk towards the edge of the structure, be watching the person as I'm lowering them, and lower from this position here, knowing that should I get something completely wrong, I'm still going to have the ASAP catch on at least one of those ropes during the lower. For sure, if that does catch, then I need to put a little raising system on this rope to raise up to unlock the ASAP. But it's a whole lot better than the alternative. So I think the Italian hitches with a donated ASAP for the lower are a far more intelligent solution. If for no other reason that I can be standing at the edge and watching that injured person as I'm lowering them to the ground.